All right, our little cigarettes. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to another SIGS video, but today we are not doing a tour. Today we're doing something a little different and we're going to kind of talk about some things you need to know going into freshman year at Northwestern. Basically just like what we wish we would have known mm -hmm. and thought might be useful for people who are starting in like literally a month. For the class of 2027. So we're just going to go through kind of like general topics. Mm -hmm. We have a little yeah. list and then yeah, so she's going to start us. So first, we want to talk about welcome week, so you get your schedule and everything. It's going to be very long and very tiring. Yeah, every so day, long. I'm sure you can see schedules, like every day you have an activity that you have to do. I think one thing we would have liked to know is um, you're not going to meet the right people on the first day. which probably. is Probably. Probably. You could, yeah, you could, but you probably won't. You probably yeah. won't. Just because yeah. I know like the first day, all three of us, we went back to our dorm and cried. Like that night, <laughs> I was like, I think I, I was... Yeah. We had such high expectations for it, and it's just, you, it's going to be a huge adjustment, oh, you know? It's a big adjustment, yeah. like, going from living with your parents to living with this person that you have, you've never met before, right, and yeah. then just making friends, figuring out your classes along with yeah. that. So I think a big thing is definitely give yourself leeway. Don't expect yourself to figure out everything on the first day, which is, like, I was not even thinking that I kind of would do exactly. that. Exactly, like, and oh, it'll just happen. all fall into place. Yeah, instantly. no, literally. Like, no, it's going to take a lot. No, it, yeah. it took a while, so please give yourself leeway. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of fake conversations, and you're going to meet a lot of people, and it's okay to not click with someone. Don't try to force that either, mm -hmm. but... Yeah, but, yeah. like, be open-minded. 100%. Like, because it's, like, I, like, from where I come from, like, I didn't meet that many diverse amount of people, and then come to Northwestern, like, it's, like, the diversity's crazy, yeah. and so it's just so cool to meet people that you never have met and it's like remember it's college not high school like don't try to be cool and not talk to a certain person because you don't yeah. think they're cool like especially that could at be, northwestern especially, especially at everyone's northwestern. a nerd Every, like, and everyone's, everyone's just, really it's just like really bottom cool line niche yeah things about them that yeah you would just give me and it's so like you're gonna fun. miss out on such like fulfilling friendships if you don't talk to someone because they're not yeah. You think they are. Yeah. So, also like college is kind of a place to start over so don't like go into college being fake and not who you are because then it's really hard to stop doing right that. yeah <laughs> and there's gonna be so many social events during welcome week like for your dorm for like just through oh northwestern God, yeah. through clubs whatever whatever the thing is like I encourage you to go, but if you need the time to recuperate and be in your room for the entire day, do that also. Don't feel guilty about yeah. Like, yeah. having to take that time because yeah. there's so Self much care. going on. Self-care. Self-care so during Welcome you, you Week need is to do so that. Yeah. You're going to be sick. That's another You're, thing. Like, like, you, you, 100%. It's, I mean, it's inevitable. Like, By day like, five of Welcome Week, yeah. you will be dead. You're like coughing up <laughs> <Yeah>. dust. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, literally. I don't think I was ever well ever for well. the entire fall oh, quarter. Yeah. What do you do? Just... Yeah. And it's raining. Yeah. <laughs> like, actually, oh, now that I think about it. Yeah. I guess what we can talk about like PA groups. So you'll yeah. get assigned a PA group, um, and that's like based on your school. That's a good way to meet friends, and then you will register for your classes mm -hmm. during Welcome Week. Mm -hmm. And a little thing I didn't know about, I like was looking at rate my professor for like a we bunch of classes. That. And I was like, why is <laughs> there nothing there? there? There's like a Northwestern specific rate my professor, which is called CTEC, C T E C. And it's like you have to fill them out after every class you take, or you won't be able to look at CTEX for the next, next year. If you're in the class of 2027, like don't try to over prepare for this stuff. I think I was looking so much in mm -hmm. classes. Like Northwestern does set up a very good welcome week where I felt mm -hmm. prepared to register yes, for classes. So yeah, you sure. don't don't need to stress about that yeah, in the beforehand. summer. Yeah, because it's yeah. like me trying to figure it all out without any of the tools or the guidance. Mm -hmm. It just made it worse because yeah. I was like, oh my you god, just I had don't to know. restart. Yeah, yeah like I, I tried to make a Shit. schedule on like Google Sheets and like that was awful. Like, <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like and you have no idea like knowing like from the different buildings. Like I had no idea if I could get from tech to luck kid in ten minutes. Mm -hmm. But like your PA will help you with that kind of stuff. Yeah. So don't stress. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. one more thing for Welcome Week is that Northwestern's very small. It's only two thousand students. <laughs> like you think like oh like high school was small, college will better you're only not one person North like <laughs> if you're gonna stop being friends with someone you're gonna hook up with someone someone's your ex like you will run into that person at yeah, some point you in the so, dining hall there's only four dining halls don't make ops is the number yeah, one thing don't make ops be don't nice and if you're yeah. be ready to see them yeah like, <laughs> be prepared you're just you're, you won't them. be avoiding them <laughs> you know, don't worry like yeah. <laughs> yeah girl the next thing i guess like i always wondered about um north versus south like there's kind of distinctions, there's kind of a blend, but in general, I will say that, like, North Campus, you will find the more athletic or, like, STEM-y mm -hmm. type of people just because it's right by 
Tech and it's right by SPAC, which is the nice gym. So like a lot of athletes will live up there and a lot of like either STEM or econ people will live up there. And then South is right by, you know, Beanin, which is like our school of music or more of like the humanities classes. So you will find more arts or humanities type majors down South. That being said, like, obviously there is overlap. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. you're not it's fine it's to not one like area or the really other. strict to like i hate the north you know it's not like that right. but it just like if you're looking for a specific you vibe, will definitely notice yeah a like difference yeah, yeah, yeah. in the yeah. type of people that live in those two and, places yeah one of our best friends lived in south and we saw her all the time one of our best yeah. friends lived in south and it was okay, it was okay. <laughs> we were fine but yeah and don't yeah. feel like oh like i need to move if i'm a stem person i'm moving south campus mm -hmm. like It'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You'll figure you'll, it out. It'll be fine. Next, we wanted to talk about the quarter system. Yeah. Um, the quarter system, it's... I enjoy it. It's got its ups and Asterix. Downs. Um, because, <laughs> like, I like that I'm able to take a lot of classes. And it's, like, it's really interesting and fun. Mm -hmm. But it does go by really, really fast. Um, like, so fast. It goes so <laughs> fast. Like, not even just, like, oh, my gosh, time flies when you're having fun. Because it does. Because, like, we had fun. But also, also just... also flies when, when you are sad. constantly doing a Yeah, when you have a <laughs> test every other week. Uh, but it is doable. Like, you survive. Oh, no. Oh, like, yeah. it's doable. But it it's just... It is a constant, like... Once the ball's rolling, it's rolling. It's like, rolling. It's not like, you think, like, you hear, they'll have syllabus week. No syllabus week at No, syll syllabus, like, silly week is condensed to, like, 10 minutes. Class yeah, of 10 the minutes class. of the like, first class, and then you're straight into the material. So, again, like, fall is definitely an adjustment, yeah. but please give yourself a leeway. I think winter, seasonal depression is real. You're going to get sad. Everyone was like, <laughs> winter quarter sun. at Northwestern, it sucks. It's, like it. it is so cold all the time, like, I don't, it just, you don't think it will ha dampen your mood that much, but it does. And it's yeah. such a stark change yeah. to spring quarter because spring quarter is amazing. It's, it's so lovely. The it's sun like, is out. out. Day. Your sun like, is out. Wow. You can go to the beach like, again for yeah. like the last three weeks of spring quarter. Yeah. But yeah, I would just say like, be prepared. Winter is going to suck, but it's like, yeah, it is. Know. You'll get through it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but that kind of leads into, we wanted to talk about academics, so, as you know, Northwestern, very academically rigorous, and I do think it lives what? up to his name in that way. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Crazy, I know, you can't just say you go to Northwestern, you <laughs> There's a lot of tests, like, we were in a bio class where you have a, just have tests, like, every other week, and mm -hmm. that was your grade. So, it's definitely an adjustment, and you're gonna struggle a little bit, but it's okay to struggle, I think is the big mm -hmm. takeaway. Yeah. I would say... Personally, I haven't really felt that much competition. I would say it's more like we're yeah. all struggling yes. together, which has been really nice. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, yeah. I mean, to be fair, like, we're all, like, pre-health students, so we're in, like, we're one in realm of academics. Classes. But um, for us, like, I don't know how it is for, like, Beaton or, like, Middle something or like something, that. but yeah. um, for us, I haven't really found a competitive. Yeah. 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 But a lot of resources that helped us is they have peer-guided study groups, and I think, like, that's something... I would go in and see if it's for you because it's also like your peer guided study group could just not be helpful. Mm -hmm. You wrote a C Tech review, like I should have paid Khan Academy instead of. Oh, oh gosh, yeah, my yeah. full tuition for that class for Gen Chem should have gone to Khan Academy. We could so, make a whole Gen Chem kind video, of a joke, but we could. <laughs> if you want a Gen Chem video, yeah. let no, us know. No, no, yeah. For the summer, I highly recommend watching some kind of study habits video, Pomodoro method, blurting method, like find some study habits that can help you at Northwestern. Protect your time because like if you're studying for 10 hours and it's not effective studying then that is not going to help you yeah, on like, your test. Using one of those hours to yeah. eat dinner with your friends will be more helpful because you like get a brain break you know. Yeah. You know what I mean just protect your time you're gonna have extracurriculars academics are hard like you know what I mean like do what you love and do what is productive. Yeah. Speaking yes. of extracurriculars, <laughs> we're going to go on to clubs. So basically, like at the beginning of the year, there's a huge org fair and that is really helpful. Definitely go to that. I don't know. For, at least for all of us, like we went in and there were every single club that looked like possibly interesting or like possibly related to health care <laughs> for us. Like yeah. we're like, OK, I need to go to that club. I need to sign up for their thing. That is not the way to do it, because like it's so much better to be really committed to two or three clubs than it is to be like a general member of 50 clubs that you don't even care about again a balance between academic clubs and fun clubs 
well, is the best for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Join a silly club. A exactly. silly Please club that you need, like, is fulfilling for you. Yeah. Because right? really? yeah. if you don't want every part of your life to be geared toward academics, mm-hmm. yeah, you'll go you'll insane. Go, yeah, you'll go crazy. Just just have fun at the org fair and just... It's also a time yeah. to, like, try something you wouldn't have done in high school. Right. Like, yeah. go to a meeting. Go try to it out. Meeting. Yeah. We've gone to things where it's, like, I never would have done that mm-hmm. before. Yeah. And I was so Might happy as well I did do it. Now. Might as well like, try. So another thing we want to focus on, obviously, college, going out. So just talking about <laughs> social events, <laughs> social events, yeah. talking about kind of how your first year goes. So this place called Reza's, every freshman, <laughs> oh, Reza's. <laughs> my, yeah, <laughs> but there's this place called Reza's. You do need to be of age to go there. Figure out a way to figure out a way. Freshman year of high school. Yeah. yeah. College. Show ID. <laughs> Show ID is the big thing. So there, it's not the end all be all. Again, you can do something else, yeah. but that is like the place in Evanston. People go, it's like fun. One it gets repetitive. Yeah. Um, but it's still so fun. Welcome week is great. I After that, say. it tapers off. Yeah. But it's a very freshman Bar. it'll yeah. be sweaty in there yeah it's silly and fun though yeah silly i and recommend fun. and then after that i feel like it kind of shifts more to like going into chicago frats will rent out a bunch of different places that like will just basically be filled with northwestern people sure. so frats they throw out probably they're not on campus during welcome week but like throughout the year they'll throw and i think it really depends on if you like frat parties or not like personally i don't like frat parties but mm-hmm. i know a lot of people do um, they're fun. Be safe. Be smart. You'll find like what's yeah. like. Personally, we love Delt. <laughs> yeah, love Shout Delt. Shout out my Delt brothers. Shout out my Delt yeah. brothers. If you're watching this. But no, you are. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of house parties for clubs. Like once you find the clubs that you like, they'll throw parties at like an off-campus house. Mm-hmm. So that's also an option. Yeah. But again, big thing: finding a balance. Like it's Northwestern. Not many people are going to be going out four days in a row with like other mm-hmm. schools, but. Maybe your major, the way you study, allows you to go out two nights, and maybe it allows you to go once every month. Like, mm-hmm. just find mm-hmm. what's good for you. I will say it does feel very work hard, play hard at Northwestern. There are yeah. people yeah. I'm like, how are you doing all of oh, this yeah. and still yeah. in college? So, like, you don't have to do that. Or if you can, good for you. But, like, again, don't compare. Yeah, yourself. and it's just, like, there's this foundation that everybody works hard and is studying. So, like, it is really nice because, like, during finals week, like, like everyone is at mud everyone's at everyone's mm-hmm. studying even if they and like even finals week i don't think there are even any parties like i i do like that there's this mm-hmm. grind culture where like we're, we're getting stuff done but like, we're also gonna yeah. have fun and like go out and that's and also a thing at first like during welcome week you're gonna feel like like i thought i'd go to college and it's always be me choosing whether or not i'm gonna go out based on how i'm feeling but sometimes it's like you want to go out, but there's not much to go to. <laughs> so that, like, oh my god. That was, like, a hard thing to adjust to. And a little to. night in is awesome. And yeah. I will always advocate for that. <laughs> but yeah, don't expect there to be a party every single day. I think it's a big yeah. thing. Yeah. General, like, kind of advice that doesn't really fall into the other categories. But you will find your people in time. So, like, trust that you'll find your people in time. It is going to be okay. And, like, <laughs> these are my best friends. <laughs> <laughs> and like it's really scary like oh my gosh going in like we were a mess you know what i mean oh, like, like we like really were struggling with that and now it's like i can't fathom not knowing these people yeah. you know so yeah. it, it shifts your whole world but it's exciting yeah. and scary so yeah. yeah some like some things like are like seen as uncool in high school but like that's the thing that's like people are gonna love about mm-hmm. you at a thruster and like because it's like i've been so many people who have these cool like unique Crazy things that they're like hobbies. so good at yeah, yeah. Like, that they've done their entire life. I'm like, you are so cool. Like, Whoa. I'm like, like what? You have yeah. played, like, the tuba for 10 years. Like, that's insane. <laughs> like, and that's, like, it, it's yeah. just really cool. Yeah. yeah. It's exciting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, there's so many bonding moments where we're like, oh, like, you were in student government? Yeah, same. Like, <laughs> I was you know, such a nerd. Like, oh, you were yeah, you nerd. were a theater <laughs> kid? Same. Like, you know? Like, you did the math competition? <laughs> might have <laughs> I think the big, big takeaway, which you probably have heard us talk about throughout this video, is give yourself grace and leeway. Like, gra- grace. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Basically, just like, it's all going to be fine. W- whether it takes a week to be fine or two and a half quarters to be fine, like, it'll get there. Yeah. Especially with comparisons, like, people's resumes coming into Don't North stop North LinkedIn. Is Don't look at their LinkedIn. Crazy. I was in such a shock because... My high school is not like, like you that. D- like, you did research your freshman year of high yeah, school? No, yeah. no. Uh, you know what I mean? So calm down. It's going to be okay. Like, yeah. it's about the skills and the experiences that you have. Then it is, like, of course, line your resume. But it's about what mm-hmm. you're learning. Like, this is your time to learn, not 
to like write down every little thing right. for your resume mm -hmm. so one of our friends was like oh we're just gonna like i'm gonna take a radio television class and i was like oh what like what does that feel like what is that yeah and she was like no just for fun like that's oh what right that's what you're yeah. supposed to do that's i was like what, what? yeah oh, i'm not yeah. doing this yeah. right yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if you have any other questions that we did not talk about in this video, please feel free to um, or leave them in the comments. Any other videos you want to see before yeah. the big week? Get excited! You <laughs> might see us at Reza's during Welcome Week. <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't. You guys will be fine. All right, our little cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cutting that out. <laughs> no, can, can you leave <laughs> Okay, can bye. We do, can we do Loki? Wait, ready? Bye. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha